Hi, I'm Chris. I'm the practicing artist. And if you've seen me here on YouTube and followed my channel, I'm sure you've seen some of my instructional videos, but I wanted to share with you a little bit about it, what a typical day is like in the life of myself, an artist. Uh, it's the business end of the day, not necessarily the creative end. I do a lot of painting. I paint every day, but I also teach. I teach at our local art center. I have 12 week classes and I also teach privately. So that's part of my day when those things are scheduled. I have exhibits, I have solo exhibits and I exhibit in group exhibits, which are very exciting. And that happens occasionally. And I'm also sometimes asked to speak on a panel at, at the local art organizations which doesn't happen often, but it's a great experience. But mostly I paint, I paint every day. But this is an idea of what a typical day looks like for an artist, at least for me. Uh, I would be painting or I would be working on a commission. I do a lot of house commissions and I do a lot of sketching for those. And I paint my own work, but there's the background stuff that no one tells you about, the business end of being an artist. So let see what happens on a typical day. First of all, we get up and we have coffee. I'm not alive unless I have coffee. And uh, then we do some stretches and work out with weights. And I like to watch YouTube uh, when I work out a lot of travel videos. I can escape and dream. And then there's after breakfast, nine to 11 miles on the stationary bike, which I hate, but it gives me a chance to catch up on my reading and on other YouTube videos. And then after that, we settle in and maybe do a little bit of work on the website that I have. I usually don't tweak it very much, but I like to stay on top of it and check my stats. Not the most exciting thing, but I like the creativity behind it. And from there, I will need more caffeine. And I kind of take it down a notch with a little bit of green tea. There's a lot of beverage drinking in my day. Uh, sometimes we'll whip up a cappuccino and I suspect that's gonna be coming up soon. But green tea is my jam, my go-to. So when I'm lightly caffeinated, then I go back to work. And when I have art and I sell my art, I sell it online, I package work. Uh, with a certificate of authenticity so that the buyer knows it's coming from me and it is not a forgery or a resale. I pack very carefully and I use a lot of packing tape and I use packing bubbles and padded envelopes. Then we take a break and we do a little bit of research. Um, other artists will always inspire you and I have a collection of those that uh, I go to a lot. I do like Andrew Wyeth. I like the simplicity of his subject matter. I like his color palette, which I uh, analyze and try to mimic uh, unsuccessfully, but at least I try. And there's another artist that I really like, Dean Mitchell. He's a watercolor artist, and he does a lot of fine detail on buildings, and I really like his work. Hey, guess what? It's time for more coffee, and this time it's a cappuccino. My barista is, or barista, is my husband and business partner, Tony, and he makes a mean foam, and kind of around mid-morning, you have to have a cappuccino with a little bit of a snack. And then it's back to the computer, and the day is just flying right now. Um, typically, I do one or two videos I post every week or two, and uh, those videos have to be edited. Uh, sometimes they're 30-minute demos, sometimes they're quick shorts, but I take a lot of my own footage, I do my own editing. As time-consuming as it is, I like it. And then we check emails, we check class rosters. It's always nice to see an email when a class is uh, sold out. Um, and this past year, I was very lucky to have both my sessions sold out and got some great students. And then I also apply for exhibits and occasionally I'm very fortunate to be juried into an exhibit like this one. Uh, and let's see, well, I guess we're off the computer now and it's time to take a break and to kind of listen to some music and to get some aromatherapy going. It really helps me to relax and focus, but we're not really painting yet. Look, there's the green tea again. I warned you, beverage is big, non-alcoholic only. I can't work and drink wine. I don't know about everybody else. 
Uh, let's see, uh, here we have a setup for a painting. Uh, I use a whole lot of different setups. This is primarily what I use when I'm doing demos and teaching demos on YouTube. Uh, sometimes I work flat depending on what the subject matter is. And again, this is all for instruction video. Notice we haven't even started painting yet. I have a couple of setups I use for my YouTube videos. This is one of them with an iPad. No, I'm not sleeping. I probably wish I were. And I also have a quick setup that I use uh, with a selfie stick and an iPhone and a mic when I'm working at the easel. This is just a basic flat setup that I will use sometimes when I've got the selfie stick with the iPhone set up. I kind of like to use different setups when I work. Uh, I work primarily uh, on a drafting board, uh, not an easel, and I like to spread out a lot of my source, source, excuse me, can't talk, my source material all around me, my different references, sketches, photographs. Uh, I work with studies, which you'll see a small one over my shoulder on the left, and then the final piece on the right. I find studies really help in my work. Sometimes I'll just demo some sketching uh, so clients, I'm sorry, so students can get an idea of uh, what the behind the scenes steps are in creating a successful watercolor painting. And watercolor is a very difficult medium to master. I do log form demos. They'll be 20 to 30 minutes Well, I will paint live. Uh, sometimes I'll edit some things down here. I'm doing a little piece on using a pencil to accentuate some of the watercolor pieces in each painting. Pencils are great for accentuating and bringing out details. Here's a sample of a final painting that I did in a demo. And again, this is all preparing for class, all preparing for YouTube. I haven't started painting for myself yet. So there's a lot of the behind the scenes going on before I do anything in a creative process. Again, uh, doing a demo here. And by the end of the day, I'm tired. And that's the business day. I'll show you some of the creative work in my next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and liking my videos. And remember, keep practicing.